I had to uh, get rid of some stuff on my phone so I can continue recording. So, so yeah, I want to make sure I could continue this video. So I uh, I don't know. I just still I still can't understand a lot of stuff that's going on in in society and what not just, I'm stressed I shouldn't be so stressed life isn't hard I just don't know why I'm feeling my feelings are so unmanageable right now I feel that of sorts. So I just want to <clears throat> get out here in nature. Get some fresh air. <coughs> it's nice and cool, and the shade under the trees is pretty warm out again today. I don't know. I just kind of want to just come out here and just do a rant, I guess. So we'll rant on. There are two genders, <laughs> male and female. If you're gay, that's great. If you're bi, that's great. If you're born with both sets of parts, <laughs> and I understand that. But, uh, people don't feel like they're the right gender. They get a sex change. I understand that. But uh, the amount of amount there is of identifying is ludicrous. Oh my God. There's a monetary system that's all broken and Everyone's, uh, all the, these different countries are dumping the petrodollar, and it's craziness. Sometimes I just wish our alien overlords would just show up and eat all the politicians, and <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I just, I do agree that we, the planet needs a reset. I, I do agree with that. So, sounds scary, but something's gotta happen, something's gotta give. I don't know, and even, shape that's gonna take if it's gonna be a nuclear war or what's what's gonna happen I think the world's just gonna implode within itself <laughs> oh my god I end up having another ice age According to scientists, we've already had like six ice ages. So, something's due. I really hope we can see some animals today. But, um, a 
long as they have some kind of nature, wilderness, <laughs> ways to forage for food, hunt animals for food and clothing and That's how it used to be, living off the land. Our ancestors did it. So, you hear the birds chirping. And, uh, just trying to get myself more grounded and centered again. We went to uh went to one of one of someone's we went to someone's wedding and uh someone asked asked uh, me if uh when I was getting married again or if I was getting married or whatever and I'm like <laughs> been married twice not really interested in getting married again pretty much the marriage is a dirty word an M word and uh I don't know they could I don't even think anyone gets it right anymore. There's more divorces and people to stay together. You know, my grand my grandparents were together for like what fifty years, sixty years. You know, and, uh, I don't see that anymore. So I'm happy and uh fulfilled in the, situ in the situation I'm in right now, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. If you're happy and content and, you know, why try to fix something that's not broken, right? I'd like to hear your uh, thoughts on that too in the comment section down below there. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like again. But I play the tape all the way to the end and I know I'm not good as a married person. So been divorced twice. So Learning how to be a partner instead of just a husband is a big difference. Just being married and being partners is totally different. And I'm learning how to be a partner today. And it's much more fulfilling and much more equal and no one's trying to change the other person. And, and uh, when you're with someone that wants the same, as, same things out of life as you do, why why change? Why change that situation with a piece of paper to just say, okay, well, we don't need a we don't need a piece of paper to to say we're happy, to say we're content, to say we're equal, to say any of that stuff. It's not necessary. It's just cruel and unusual. Just conform to the ideology of what what's politically correct, right? Well, I said it many times before. I'm not politically correct. I'm for 
far from that. So, what would be the point of feeding into that narrative of everyone else is doing it, so let's just do it just for the hell of it. It's not worth it in the long run. It's really not worth it in the long run at all. Because there hasn't been a long run <laughs> in my life anyway. My longest marriage was seven years. My first marriage was less than a year. So I don't need a society telling me what's politically correct. I, I know I've been talking about a lot of other kinds of topics and stuff on on my channel here not so much of the lighter stuff I was earlier in the beginning of my channel but uh I need a I need an outlet to be able to share thoughts and that's what this platform is for right so sharing your thoughts on different topics and issues and getting feedback from like-minded people and or, or unlike-minded people you know that's where diversity comes into you right so you gotta weigh the pros and the cons to, to, with every every situation right so I'm willing to be open-minded to different ways of thinking and and whatnot because that's how I stay sane you know something You've been doing this doesn't seem to be working anymore then maybe it's time to try something new so <sighs> yeah I was saying we had gone to a wedding and one of Jacqueline's daughters got married and they were supposed to be getting uh, Getting a house, being able to put down a down payment on a home, and uh, that's not going to happen again for a while. I'm not sure exactly how long, but the house is really full, and I think we're all stressed. So, I know what I need to do to be able to decompress as much as possible and get my stuff together, and go back to the grind. I've been working a lot, so I've been able to put more money towards the household bills and stuff like that, so I feel really awesome about that. It's like I'm working another, I've been working more 40 hour weeks, which is great. It's just finding the time to allocate for family stuff too, right? So, and time for myself, time to go run chores. I'm probably, probably gonna go get an oil change on the car when I'm finished here. I might go get some physiotherapy for my back. And uh, just keep moving. <laughs> I just gotta keep moving. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. It's Thursday, so I might go to a meeting tonight. I need to get to more of those. It's probably another aspect of my stress no doubt 
I haven't been to a whole lot at all lately. So working a lot. And making sure I get enough sleep for work. So I gotta make sure I keep on top of that as much as possible too. And coming out on these walks helps me get my thoughts in order. You know, and that, that helps a lot. Having an outlet to talk to you guys, share my thoughts, get some feedback, get some, you know, you guys always give me lots of positive feedback too, so that really helps a lot. And I've been trying, I actually, I've been asking people to remind me, hey, you know, or ask me every once in a while, have you been doing a video lately? So I've been trying to, work at it so people don't have to I don't go so long with it so people don't have to ask me so I want to be able to get a, at least I'm, I think what I want to do is I want to try to get at least two or three videos out a week just to just to get just to get back into the swing of things and make sure I keep some fresh content on content on my channel and uh you know, and I'm always checking my, my, my messages and like my emails and stuff like that, so. You know, if you guys uh, ever want to just get in touch with me, you know, uh, you can get in touch with me at skyoak69 at gmail.com. That's sky like the tree, or sky like the sky, oak like the tree, 69 at gmail.com. Just email me if you want to talk or chat or if you're, you live close, meet up, whatever. Just be cool to meet some meet some you guys and maybe we'll hang out and have coffee or something or work on a video together, go on a nature walk. If you had an idea for a video yourself, we can do that together. I'm open to all kinds of ideas. Just, uh, like I said, I want to stay open-minded to different, different ideas and thoughts and methods of doing stuff. I know I haven't been doing a whole lot of editing on my videos and stuff like that lately, but I need a. I just need to make, I just need to, to stay active. I need to do my best to communicate, do my best to use this outlet to be able to get stuff off my mind. And when I get out here and uh, share what's on my mind, it makes, it makes life easier. Gives me a chance to em empty my brain and cleanse my soul and get grounded and feel healthier. I'm stressed and tense and angry or upset or sad or just plain old emotional. I'm not a uh, not. I'm not balanced. I'm not serene I'm not all that positive stuff that I want to be I usually am I just uh, want to make sure I'm out here doing my best to cleanse me cleanse my soul cleanse my brain and uh, just keep moving forward keep living Stay alive. Don't stay out of depression. And just live a healthy life. We all deserve to live a healthy life. So, I just want to again thank you all for all the positive feedback you send me. 
all the positive vibes. They just but if I'm not making videos and I'm not sharing what's on my mind and not out in nature or somewhere or out on the back deck or wherever I am at at that moment making a video and getting stuff off my brain and I'm just sitting, I'm just stewing in it, right? I'm just sitting in it. I don't want to sit in my crap. I don't want to move past it and let stuff go. There's all kinds of stuff that, you know, I don't, I don't even know if I want to say I can't change because it's, that's the, that's the problem. People have a, it's not my problem mentality. Well, if, if no one stands up and says, hey, this is a problem, then nothing will be addressed. It's like people speaking out at the schools and in Parliament and uh, you know people speak out and then they got ostracized because oh that's an, an unpopular way of viewing a situation well you're gonna have to deal with a lot of uncomfortableness if you're gonna move past something that's broken and try something different. It's not going to be easy. Change is hard. And it takes work. You know, if people don't want to do the work to make change, then nothing's going to change. I had to do a lot of work in my own life to make change. It wasn't easy, it was hard. But the more and more I tried and had the willingness to make more change, things got better. It got pretty rough there for a while in the beginning of my recovery. But, you know, you just gotta keep.